remember the day that my mum told us that her cancer had come back. Um, her, and, her and my dad came down to our house and uh, my wife and daughter were there. Daisy was a baby. Um, and it was, you know, obviously a shocking, a shocking thing. Symptom-wise, obviously when she was having treatments, we have side effects. Medications have side effects, physically and mentally. Some different hospitals visited my mum and dad to, to offer, you know, the, the support um, networks that, that they offer, whether it be you know, the, the nurse coming out every couple of weeks or whatever, to see what they can do in terms of symptom control. When my mum said she was going into the hospice, I remember, I'm pretty sure I remember a phone a, a telling me, and you think, oh my God, oh gosh, she's going in a hospice, and that means one thing, but it, it obviously doesn't. Um, you know, I'm thinking the worst, you're going in to, to pass away. But she went in for, for respite for her, symptom control, um, and res respite for my, for my dad as well, because it's tough on partners and husbands and wives. So yeah, they, they basically got my mum back on her feet, um, strong enough to be out there in the community, and she, she lived as normal a life as she, as she could. Tried to be active with family and going out and things like that. Um, still, you know, still quite poorly, but the hospice had given her the, the boost that she needed to um, you know, live a relatively normal life for uh, another another sort of six months or so. My mum and dad and us as a family found a, a great help was the um, support that the um, the clinical nurse specialist gave um, my mum and dad and, like I say, us as a, as a family at times. Um, when my mum, obviously my mum had long periods of time when she was at home, but not 100% well. Um, you know, days where, you know, you know, my dad would be wondering, you know, does he need to give somebody a ring? And <clears throat> I know the visits that the clinical nurse specialist made, they, they insisted that, you know, any doubts to give a ring, if, any doubts on anything, if my mum was deteriorating or any sort of advice that they, uh, that my dad thought they needed, just, you know, Call them, and it's a, it's a, a massive um, a massive help. Because obviously, you're in, that support is, is is vital at that time. The type of cancer that my mum had um, affecting her bones, um, obviously, her mobility decreased somewhat, um, sort of curvature of the spine, losing height, and, and 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 losing sort of muscle tone. So she was prone to falls. Obviously, she the hospice. Um, Occupational therapist came out and assessed what would make my mum's quality of life better, um, and I, I remember, <clears throat> I remember a vision now. Um, obviously, when they they came out and assessed her and they decided, well, you need a you need this walker or you need this handrail or you need a bed downstairs, which she did she did have at, um, at a certain point, um, and also a, a stairlift was arranged as well. Um, that was obviously a big thing because they've got. A, you know, got to get to bed, obviously. Um, but I remember a, a lovely vision of my mum washing the pots with my little girl, sort of playing, washing the pots. And I remember that she couldn't get about. From, she used to sit in a particular part of the sofa and she was sort of, without the equipment, she would have, she couldn't get herself up very easily and she couldn't certainly walk into the, uh, the kitchen. But I do remember sat looking at my mum Sort of wash the pots with with Daisy because she'd been able to get um, there herself, and it was purely because she got this walker. Which little things like that is really important. Towards the the end, when my mum was um, end of life, I'd sometimes be sat at home with my wife, or even sometimes sat up in bed reading, obviously wondering if it was the time it was going to be tonight or whatever, and I couldn't settle. And I'd, I'd, I'd sort of, I'd have a drive up it and, and, and come and sit at the side of a bed. And like I say, that's, that was massively important for me. And when I did come at, um, late at night to, uh, to see her um, and hold her hand, um, it was, she, she knew I was there and it was a, it was a precious time.